माय नेम इज कैलाश मंत्री आई एम ए लाइफ कोच एंड ए मेंटल हेल्थ कंसल्टेंट फॉर द लास्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स वी हैव बीन रिसर्चिंग ऑन मोर देन फिफ्टी मेंटल इलनेसेस विच वी हैव बीन एबल टू क्योर विदाउट मेडिसिन देर आर मोर देन फिफ्टी डिजीजेस एंड वी आर द पाइनियर इन क्योरिंग दैम टूडे विल बी टॉकिंग ऑन आल्कोहलिज्म स्मोकर्स चेन स्मोकर्स टबेको टेकर्स people who take drinks once in a while people who smoke once in a while it is not that serious but you know we are aware that people who smoke they smoke 20 30 cigarettes a day and alcoholic people take more than 4 to 5 packs a day now alcoholism is a mental illness including chain smokers and tobacco chewers there is some root in their mind or i could say there is some disturbance in their mind because of which people feel helpless they know it it is not good for them but they have got no choice when family member goes to a doctor the only choice the doctor says is admit him to a rehab center this is the wrong strategy family adopt rehab centers are similar to jails and the patients who is already frustrated who is already helpless and if he is admitted to a rehab center he feels more helpless more frustrated and get disconnected with their family members and curse their family members now let's talk the type of people who go into all these three people who are mentally not strong people who are who feel they are failure people who lack confidence people who are fearful sad people rejected people slightly depressed frustrated tension stress anxiety negative thinking people who feel lonely boredom people who have directionless life people who have no inspiring goals no challenging work and lastly people who have no future now let's see the connection between chain smokers tobacco chewers and alcoholic if anybody starts any one thing chain smoker and alcoholism are totally connected if you start with cigarette you will end up in alcohol if you start with alcohol you will end up in cigarettes they both are connected our research says that 70% youngsters in cities are smoking and or drinking and the shocking news is more than 50% females also youngsters female also are into alcoholism and smoking that means more than 50% college students female college students have started smoking and started drinking now let's see you know why people go into alcoholism or why people take alcohol or why people start smoking it's one way of showing that i have grown up i am on my own i am not dependent i can take my own decisions but there are many reasons like people want company people want to talk and many people are shy in nature so after alcohol after taking alcohol they are comfortable in talking initially it is started as a curiosity that everybody is taking let me also try and though it is bitter the taste is not good they don't enjoy it at the first stage since their friends are taking they gradually get into the habit of drinking and smoking many people have got the habit of suppressing their feelings suppressing their thoughts and after one or two packs of alcohol you know they start sharing talking and they become comfortable in talking so the really what they enjoy sharing which they cannot do without drinking so they enjoy drinking if you go into the root cause of why people take alcohol excessive alcohol you know one or two packs once in a week doesn't harm much but if anybody is taking three to six packs a day and that too every day it is a sign that future is very dark if anybody takes alcohol three to six packs a day you know their livers get damaged they have blood pressure cholesterol gets increased they attract diabetes kidneys also get damaged they may get heart attack also they may they may attract paralysis also brain stroke also because research says that 60 ml of alcohol can damage 1 lakh brain cells and if you take it continuously there is a memory loss also you attract parkinson also then you are more motivated to take more alcohol the right strategy is to contact a senior life coach and all the family members including the patient should sit for 
5 to 10 hours and really understand the person as to why he is helpless as to why he cannot give up alcoholism and there are genuine reasons initially you know there is a good quotation initially you take alcohol and after some time alcohol takes you and you are helpless there are many triggers for alcohol you know if you want to enjoy if you are sad if you want to spend time with somebody you think of alcoholism sometime there is a time trigger also the moment it is 7 pm or 8 pm you know your brain gives you indication it's time to sit for alcohol that's why many of the drinks are named as 8 pm that means a reminder that now it's time for alcohol we have developed a special test and we have named it as mind mapping test and which is done by the patient itself the patient himself tell us to why he's taking alcoholism and there are more than 50 reasons why a person goes into alcoholism or becomes a chain smoker and the major reason is tension anxiety and this is 100 percent curable minimum 10 days and maximum one month our strategy of getting people out of all this thing is making him powerful, making him responsible, increasing his confidence, making him courageous, establishing connections with his family members. We have found that these patients have many complaints with their family members. They are blaming their family members for many things and they are not able to say it openly for some reason or the other. We resolve all conflicts in their mind. We remove all misunderstandings uh, which they are having with their family members. We remove all the grudges which they are carrying with their family members and we establish bond with their family members. Now, and we have found this is the best strategy whereby we have not to force any alcoholic to stop drinking. The more you force, the more is he tempted to take. I remember that sometime within five hours, the person quits alcohol. And in the way we start is some of our coaches also sit with him for alcoholism. We allow him to take alcohol. And then the way we talk, the way we question, he himself empties the bottle in the wash machine and promises of reducing alcohol slowly. One of the grievances which patients share is that people don't understand them, that the family member don't understand them and that's why they are taking drinks. Now let's understand, after taking alcohol, do the person start shouting, start talking aggressively? Yes. Does the person become violent, angry? Yes. Sometimes if the person takes alcohol excessively, there are fights seen in their family member. They start eating their spouse. Spouse is the common victim of excessive alcoholism. And that's the only reason why many states in India prohibited alcohol. Now these people are so irresponsible that whatever earnings they have, their first priority is alcohol. And they forget their children also, that they also need milk, they also need schooling fees, but they are helpless. I don't blame them. And let's talk about cigarette. Now many people think that unless they smoke, they cannot go to the toilet. They feel constipated. Many people think after smoking only, they can get motions. Otherwise, you know, the stomach is heavy and they feel constipated. Does people get excited after consuming alcohol? Yes. Does people become more expressive, more communicative? after taking excessive alcohol yes and these are also motivations for people to take drink after taking three four packs of alcohol people become so strong they think they are the emperors of the world and they can do anything and it's a common scene in all beer bars that some of the people who are over drunk they start behaving very badly now people in fact all people have dreams but people who cannot take actions to fulfill their dream, they get frustrated and they go more into alcohol, chain smoking and tobacco chewing. So this is basically a frustration when we can prepare people to fulfill their dreams. That means training and coaching is the only solution for them to come out of alcoholism. No force will do, no cursing will do. We give 100% guarantee for our treatment. Any person who comes to us, 100% gives up alcoholism, chain smoking or tobacco chewing. Now time cannot be said right now. Some people do it in 10 days, some people take one month and some may take around three months also. Nobody takes more than three months and in fact within 10 days people reduce their alcoholism, chain smoking 
और टोबेको चुइंग बाई मोर देन फिफ्टी परसेंट वंस दे आर ड्रंक दे स्टार्ट टॉकिंग रबिश लाइक आई कैन डू दिस आई कैन डू दैट आई डेट दिस आई डेट दैट एंड पीपल ऑल्सो गेट बोर्ड विद देर टॉकिंग दे टॉक ऑल इलेवन थिंग्स एंड फैमिली मेम्बर्स हैव गॉट नो चॉइस बट टू लिसन टू दैम बिकॉज दे नो दे आर ड्रंक द मेजर रीजन वाई पीपल गो इन टू आल्कोहल चेन स्मोकिंग और टोबेको चुइंग इज टू रिलैक्स देयर माइंड बट ओनली थिंग दे डोंट रियलाइज इज बाई हार्मिंग देयर बॉडी दे आर रिलैक्सिंग देयर माइंड विच इज रॉन्ग स्ट्रेटेजी नाउ देर आर न्यू स्ट्रेटेजीज वेर बाय देर माइंड कैन ऑल्सो भी रिलैक्स एंड देर बॉडी ऑल्सो विल नॉट गेट डैमेज एंड ओनली वी मेक देम एक्सपीरियंस विद दिस न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी एंड यस रिलैक्सिंग माइंड इज ए मस्ट बट डैमेजिंग बॉडी इज नॉट द राइट स्ट्रेटेजी आल्कोहल चेन स्मोकिंग एंड टबोको डैमेजेस बॉडी टू सच एन एक्सटेंट दैट समाइम दे गेट टर्मिनल डिजीजेस राइट स्ट्रेटेजी इज लेट्स टॉक एंड टॉक शुड हैपन इन फ्रंट ऑफ ए वेरी सीनियर लाइफ कोच सो दे ही अंडरस्टैंड बुद्ध द पार्टीज एंड हेल्प हिम रिड्यूज हिज आल्कोहलिज्म